All right, hey everyone, Riley here from becominganelectrician.com. Uh, so what I've done is I have created just a little false, little false wall here. And uh, what we will be doing in upcoming videos is be talking about the roughing in process. So if you have found this video because you wanna find out what roughing in is for electrical, I will quickly discuss that in this video, okay? So roughing in is at this stage of the job. So imagine that you've just walked into the home, the framers or the carpenters have just framed up a wall just like you're looking at right here, all right? And so what happens is we as electricians, now we come in and we will drill holes into the studs. We will run our wires through the studs and we will install boxes, okay? So you can see down here, so the first thing that we do in the rough-in stage is we install our electrical boxes. This is a single gang box. There's also double gangs, triple gangs, and more, okay? We're also running our electrical wire, okay? So this is the most common home wire, NMD, or Lumex is what you might uh, hear it be called. So it's 14-2. 14 means that it's 14 gauge. That's how big the wire is. And then there's two conductors in there. So right beside it, you're gonna see morettes or wire nuts. That's also what we use in the rough in stage. So what we do, the very first thing we do is we box, okay? We look at the prints, we figure out where do all of our de electrical devices go on this wall. We will mark it with a pencil or a Sharpie. Then we will actually take a tape measure. We will find all the heights because when we look at the prints, our boxes, the engineer tells us what height to put our boxes. Plugs, switches, if you are in more of a commercial uh, environment, there'd be like emergency lighting, exit signs, fire alarm, stuff like that. And it tells us what height to put our boxes at, okay? That's the first thing you do is you figure out the layout and then you, actually, you actually put the boxes on the studs first, okay? Once the boxes are there, then you will drill all your holes, okay? And there's a lot of wood chips. And um, so there's a lot of drilling. You wanna make sure to wear your safety glasses because uh, the wood chips can get in your eyes and it really sucks when it happens, okay? So you lay out the boxes, you install the boxes, you then drill the holes, then you pull the wire, okay? If you have drilled the holes and the holes are too close to the stud, then you want to use what's called protection plates, all right? And you just kind of hit them onto the stud and it just allows it so that when the drywaller is trying to screw his drywall into the stud, he will find that he can't get it through and uh, those are supposed to protect the wire, okay? But essentially that's just the rough in process. So the carpenter comes, they install the walls, they install the roof, the electricians come in, they will then install their boxes, drill the holes, pull their wire. Now, the most important for th uh, thing for you to know if you are a homeowner is that you have to call for inspection, okay? And in other words, so you cannot be rushed on the electrical by the drywallers and by the contractor and by the insulators. So when you are done electrical, you call for inspection. Once the inspection is passed, then you are past the rough in stage in, uh, the insulators can get in, they can insulate this wall, and then the drywallers come in. They will then drywall this wall and seal it up, is what you call it, because you will not be able to access your wires and stuff anymore. That's why it's really important to look at your prints, to plan, and to make sure that you get everything in the walls. Otherwise, you're gonna have to cut holes in the walls and it costs more money. Now, once the drywall goes on the walls, the tapers come in and they have mud is what they call it, so like tapers mud, drywall mud, and they fill all the holes of where they put all the screw holes, and then they'll also tape the seams, okay? That takes quite a while, it takes about a week at least, because they have to do multiple coats, they have to sand it, and then the painters come in, okay? And then you can see over here, this little guy, I have one plug, okay? Because we will talk about plugs and switches, but plugs and switches do not happen in the rough in stage, all right? This stuff happens in what's called the finishing stage. So once you are done the roughing stage, you then move on to the finishing stage. And these plugs will go into these electrical boxes, okay? So you 
you install the electrical box, you drill the holes, you pull the wires, you cut the jacket off of the wire, you stick it into the box, we splice on, and then we use these wire nuts to make sure that there's no exposed copper. Okay, so everything's safe. Once the roughing's done, the drywall's done, now we're on the finishing stage. So in other words, paint is all done and stuff too. Now we will be attaching our electrical devices into our electrical boxes. We will then put a cover plate on and then we're done, right? And that's, that's, that's it. So be on the lookout for more videos coming. I will try to make them very short and talk about, you know, how to install a box, how to staple wires, how to splice your wires and just different things to think about, such as you should never run your wires on the top plate, which I've seen as um, an experienced journeyman do. And I'll, ta I'll talk about that later because essentially if someone's going to drill a hole, they cannot see your wire, right? And they'll, they'll hit your wire. So, you know, when we are stapling, we want to staple down, try to try to stay more than in like the middle of the stud. And, um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Okay. So that is what is roughing in what you're looking at right here is the roughing process this is like the bare bone studs and we are drilling holes, pulling wire, getting everything ready for the drywaller to seal up the wall. And then we come back for what's called the finishing stage. So if you guys want to stay updated with the website, check out my free book for apprentice electricians by going to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.